hello there is another time for another lesson today we'll be looking at human development we'll be looking at human development now our objective is that every learner watching this video will be able to define growth and development and maturation briefly explain the stages of development you should be able to describe the factors affecting growth and development and list the temporary and permanent changes in growth and development now have you ever wondered why we don't remain the same after we are born now every living organism undergoes changes at various times in their life cycle and these changes are observable now we are going to look at what causes these changes and the factors that affect these changes and that is why in this lesson we will be looking closely at the changes that living organism undergo and explain the factors that affect those changes now we'll be looking at the meaning of the terms growth development and maturation now growth is the permanent increase in size of living organisms now growth happens because of cell division and it occurs from birth to full matru maturity development is a series of changes that occur during growth leading to maturity while maturation is a state in living organisms where the reproductive organs are fully functional it is described in physical terms now we'll continue with factors affecting growth and development now the factors that affect growth and development are as follows food heredity glands or hormones diseases exercise and rest love and care now i'm going to be explaining how these factors affect growth and development one after the other so starting with food now we all know that food is essential for growth and development food is the main source of energy for any individual so without eating food we would not get the required energy that we need even to carry out the various functions even um, our various activities and, and functions of the body the body will not function right and we are well aware that it's important that we eat all the food nutrients yes that the body requires for proper growth and development and any the absence of any of these food nutrients will lead to what we call nutrient deficiency diseases for instance if protein is not in the in the food that we eat it may lead to the uh, food food deficiency disease kwashiorkor and kwashiorkor will lead to abnormal growth and development of any individual now moving to the next one here heredity now heredity is the transfer of genes which is the unit of inheritance from parents to offspring now heredity determines even the characteristics that we have because they are the ones that we inherit from our parents and that is why we look like our parents in so many ways now if our parents if both parents are tall definitely the child is likely to be tall now if both parents are short then the offspring that they give birth to is likely going to be short now if the parents have a large body size there's a probability that the offspring too will have a large body size so heredity determines so many traits that we inherit from our parents which in turn determines our growth and development now moving on to glands now glands secrete hormones glands secrete hormones and these hormones are essential for our growth and development now secretions from glands such as pituitary gland and thy thyroid gland influences the growth of individuals now the thyroid, the pituitary gland secretes what we call growth hormone and growth hormone determines how tall or short an individual will be now if this growth hormone is secreted <clears throat> in a large proportion it can lead to gigantism and if it's not secreted rightly if it's secreted um, in a, uh, if it's deficient in the body it can lead to what we call dwarfism now the thyroid gland also secretes hormone tyrosine which is necessary for our metabolism which um, is essential for our growth and development and its absence will result in what we call cretinism so glands play a crucial role 
in our growth and development. Now moving along, let's look at the influence of disease on our growth and development. Now generally, disease has a way of affecting our growth and development because if an individual is not feeling well or is sick, it may make that individual lose appetite for food. And without food, this person would not develop properly. So diseases have a way of slowing down growth and development. Now moving on to exercise and rest. Exercise has a good effect on growth. It enables the muscles to grow big and strong. And lack of exercise could stunt our growth and development. Now rest is also essential because it assures that our body recovers quickly after strain. So therefore, exercise and rest has a positive effect on our growth and development. Moving along to love and care. Now generally, an individual that receives love and care will definitely grow up very well. And lack of love and care could stunt an individual's growth. So love and care plays a crucial role or has a positive effect in our growth and development. Now moving along, we'll be looking at those temporary and permanent changes in growth and development. Now, the temporal changes include pimples in males and females at adolescence, fatness, enlargement of stomach after a meal or intake of water. Now these changes are temporary. In other words, they are reversible and will disappear after some time. Whereas permanent changes in growth and development are those changes that remain throughout life. In other words, they are permanent and non-reversible. Examples are those features associated with each developmental stage of childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. Now, these changes include, you know, those changes that occur during puberty, menstruation, you know, uh, production of spermatozoa, and so on. All these constitute permanent changes during growth and development. Now we're going to look at the summary of our lesson for today. Now growth is the permanent increase in size and complexity of organisms. Development is a series of changes that occur during growth leading to maturity. Maturation is a state in living organisms where the reproductive organs are fully functional. Now there are various factors that affect growth and development and this Factors are food, diseases, heredity, hormones, exercise and rest, and so on. Now, pimples in male and females at adolescence, fatness, enlargement of stomach after a meal or intake of water constitute temporary changes in growth and development. Now, the various features associated with each developmental stages of childhood, adolescence, and adulthood will constitute the permanent changes in growth and develop. Now that we have come to the final part of our lesson for today, I want to pause this video and try to answer these questions on your own and see how much of the lessons that you have invited. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.